Welcome to the InfoGov Hot Seat Vodcast, featuring candid interviews with practitioners, consultants, and solution providers on hot topics in the information governance industry. Here's your host, Jim Merrifield. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you on the hot seat. So let's kick it off and uh, get to know you a little better. Can you give us a brief introduction of yourself, your current role, and one fun fact about yourself? Sure thing. I'll try to keep it brief. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been, been doing this stuff for uh, county 30, 32 years now, which is a little nuts. Um, and in, in, I don't know. It's, I always find it interesting to, to hear how others in this industry, sort of how you sort of fell into this, right? I mean, very few of us, I think, sort of you know, were born and grew up, you know, grew up wanting to be in records management or information governance. So, uh, you know, my, my, my path was, was probably is, you know, maybe not as interesting as others, but um, I went to school for biology, undergrad for biology, and then went to grad school for ecology. So it was a natural progression to, to this stuff. Uh, no, got a job probably like anyone else, right? Um, needed the needed a job, needed health insurance. Had my first son, and um, this was one of the the jobs that I got that that provided that. And you know, you just eventually start to to grow into it. Um, so yeah, thirty thirty two years later, it's been a it's been a great ride. Continues to be a a great ride. I've kind of divided. I've had an interesting career. Uh, divided it really in half: sixteen years uh, in-house, sixteen years consulting. Uh, you know, I've been. I've held a number of, of jobs in-house. I was the director of records and conflicts and intake at Ropes and Gray, Chote Holmes Stewart. I've uh, been the global director of information governance at, at Bain and Company and Draper Labs and Wellington Management and a few other places. And on the consulting side, I've worked with, um, I think it was like 45% of the MLAW 200 law firms and about, you know, over three dozen Fortune 500 companies across different industries. So really interesting uh, experience over over all these years, you know, Lots of different companies, and 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 and, and luckily, very fortunate to, um, you know, pretty much all the organizations I've worked with, be it in-house or or consulting, you know, world-class organizations. So that's been that's been a pleasure. Uh, learned learned a lot, experienced a lot, and you know, now I'm the senior solutions manager of information governance and collaboration at in outsource. Uh, Started very late last year. Uh, uh, really excited. I've known Nancy and Eric for for many many years, uh, and you know from afar have observed uh, their their company and their success, which has been very impressive. Heard a lot of good things. Was was really excited to to join in outsource, and it's been everything I, I hoped it would be. Uh, I, I wear many hats, so I have that that title. <laughs> um, so I'm certainly helping with, you know, the information governance consulting. Uh, do a lot. I help a lot with um, business development, uh, data governance, sort of building some, helping to build that that practice out. Uh, we're we're getting into and building a practice right now around modern work. Uh, so it's been uh, one of the leads on on helping to do that. So, so learning a lot, um, doing a lot of different things. I help as well. We have a e-learning platform called Nectar, uh, where there's a there's already a wealth of sort of content on risk management, and I've been helping to develop content for information governance as well. Uh, that should be released soon. <laughs> yeah. Soon, I don't know exactly when, but uh, so yeah, a lot, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of fun. Uh, did you ask an interesting thing? Yeah, fun about, fact. We need a fun, fun fact. fact. Um, there's many, Jim. There are many fun facts. 
no, but, but one that probably not many people w would know is uh, I am a, uh, I love music. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge music fan, music nerd, and I have way too much music that I own. <laughs> uh, my wife would, would tell you that. So just to give you an example of uh, like digital music, I've got over 22 terabytes. So yeah, yeah. Wow. And physical music I've, is way more than that. So wow. you got that all organized somewhere. It's all preserved and archived and, yeah. you know, it's got some kind of, you know, sort of. <laughs> it's all it's governed of, properly. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a lot to govern, <laughs> no doubt. Um, yeah, lots of different styles, genres, um, but I tend to gravitate towards the stranger side of music. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, I didn't know that about you. So speaking of music, so you're a music fan. Yep. Um, I know you're getting ready to be at ILTA in Nashville next week. So are you excited? What you look? What are you looking forward to? What, what, what are your plans in Nashville? Yeah, definitely excited. Uh, first time going to Nashville. Uh, hoping to have some some free time to check out some of the some of the spots downtown. Um, I'm also speaking. I'll, I'm speaking on Tuesday. I'll be a, a panel part of the uh, Elfigs group and a, a paper on information governance and artificial intelligence. So I've been fortunate the last couple of years to be one of the co-authors of the last two AI IG white papers that Ilfigs has has published. Or we will be publishing the second one soon. Uh, so yeah, looking looking forward to that. Um, as you know, in outsource puts on you know a lot of a lot of stuff at Ilta. Uh, I will be part of that. Um, we've, we've got a demo room there. I think uh, for most of the time, I'll be in that demo room meeting with, with clients and prospects, talking about a variety of, of different things. Uh, so yeah, very much looking forward to it. That's awesome. No, looking forward to seeing you there. And I think that okay. the session on Tuesday, right? It's at two o'clock, right, Central? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah and AI. Now that, that's going to be uh, amazing, right? There's a few... I think InfoGov sessions uh, peppered throughout the the week. Just a few. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a few. InfoGov and AI, right? That's so, yeah. Yeah. Now that's uh, that's Ooh. awesome. So so speaking of your new role, I know you you've, you have a really diverse background. Right? You've been in house. You've been on the consultant side, um, advising on the software side. Mm -hmm. um, what's the day in the life of Colin Cahill today at in out in outsourcing your new role? Yeah, no, that's a that's a great question. Uh, I said we're wearing wearing a lot of hats, um, you know, which is one of the things I love about this this role that I have within outsource. A lot of opportunities to get involved with uh, lots of lots of things. So I'd say, uh, like like most uh, like most organizations, right? There's the focus. Everyone's interested in artificial intelligence and what that what that means uh, we are also one of those one of those companies and I would say every day I'm having probably at least you know two three maybe maybe more conversations with different different law firms uh, CIOs CISOs COOs and <laughs> the, the conversations are all about data, AI, and I'd say earlier this year, most of the conversations were, hey, you know, they're said they're telling telling me, hey, we're we're going, we're going forward with Copilot, ChatGPT, all the stuff. We're just we're interested. We're, we're going to start testing the waters and doing things, um, and people have done that, like a lot of firms have. The conversations now, I'd say, and now being like the last couple of months, uh, very different. <laughs> the conversations now are, it's all about governance, right? Everyone's saying, yeah, we, we did this, you know, we tested, dipped our toes in the water, and what we quickly found out is we need governance, we need information governance, data governance, 
now. But it's top priority for us. This is what we need. We know we need it. We've got data sprawl everywhere. Um, so we need help there. So that's what all these conversations now are, are all about. Uh, so really it's become sort of AI readiness is information governance, really. Uh, so so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's really interesting to, to have these conversations. Uh, people are looking to clean up, you know, decades of <laughs> unstructured data that's sort of just been sitting out there. Um, Getting that, getting that cleaned up, getting it, uh, identifying the, the gold standard data that you want to use for your for your AI to, for training, getting the governance layers, migrating your content to to, to govern repositories, and uh, I think a whole shift too, just in in information governance because you know, for for years and years, myself and others, right. <laughs> We've all we've all said we we write the policies, and the policies always say oh, the electronic matter yeah. file, uh, the DMS is the single source of truth, the primary repository, blah blah blah. From my experience, um, when you actually look to see if that's happening, it's really not. Um, there's so much more content that's being created and saved outside of. The DMS, um, so un, unmanaged, un, ungoverned, really. But years ago, we didn't have the tools to to, to do that. We do now. Um, so it is I, again. I just want to see this this shift, <laughs> sort of modern information governance. We we don't want to ignore or discard the DMS, but we can manage all of the data where it exists today and that's sort of the i think this where where things are headed yeah for sure managing information in place i think there's going to be a lot of conversations around that uh you know leading up to ilta and even at ilta so looking forward to to those discussions and i know colin we've talked about a lot on this uh short interview or conversation here but is there anything else that you wanted to share with the audience before we let you go just to, I think to keep emphasizing that that point. Um, I mean, I've always been sort of interested in the concepts of disruption and acceleration broadly, and you know that I think right now we're we're certainly in experiencing both in a in a major way. Um, there's a, there's a giant shift here, huge opportunity for uh, there's going to be tons of change happening over the next couple years or maybe a little bit more uh so huge opportunity for all of us that that are in this industry to really uh, take advantage of it because it's we're, we're we're suddenly you know elevated i think the opportunity to to be elevated even even more than we already are is there we should we should grab it yeah, it's exciting times. I couldn't agree with you more. To be in yep. this field, uh, information governance, AI, technology in general. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and insights here on the hot seat with, with the audience. Definitely look forward to seeing you in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll be a fun time. And uh, for our audience, if you'd like to be a guest on the InfoGov hot seat, just like Colin here, all you need to do is submit your information through our website, infogovhotseat.com. And uh, thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of our day. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me. You got it. Thank you for listening to another episode of the InfoGov Hot Seat. Follow us on Spotify, YouTube, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and LinkedIn. Check out our main website at infogovhotseat.com to view our latest episodes and much more.